Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I got a small little haul from Napa. I ended up having to wait for some more parts um, to do the CVs on the 2000 Limited 4Runner. Um, got a another Nebo light, picked one up for my wife. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody, how's it going, and welcome back to the channel. So, um, it's been a few days. Um, today is December 22nd, 2021, it's a Wednesday. I actually started on this project, or one of them. I started uh, with these two CV axles. I ended up getting the, the dust caps off of the 2000 Limited 4x4. I call Rose. Um, I was getting ready to uh, pull the CV axles and and um, uh, do uh, diff seals and everything. And before I even got the cotter pin off um, or anything, I, all I did was take the dust boots off and the rims off the dust boots to show the cotter pin and the axle nuts. And uh, um, I actually found some issues whoever installed these CV axles previously that, that I never took off of the vehicle good thing because you know me and my wife both work we have stuff to do and it just I had to wait for parts again uh, I grabbed every part I needed for this project but something as stupid as axle nut and then the castle caps um, because it has aftermarket CV axles, and these are aftermarket CV axles. Um, so they actually have the same style nut where the castle, it's a castle nut, not a nut with a castle cap. Um, but I did take photos. Um, do, 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 gallery. I gotta go all the way down here because I moved those photos. Do do. There they are. So I took photos. These are of the axles in the house right now. Um, so this is where the nut actually seats. This castle nut seats when it's installed on the vehicle. And you can see that they drilled the hole in the wrong spot. It actually needs to be about seven threads down to actually um, match in here to be locked in. Problem is, is this is how it's set up on the truck. They just pushed the cotter pin through, folded it over, but it's not even in any of these castle nut groups. Um, that's how it's supposed to be. Um, this nut's supposed to be way back here, but that's how it's supposed to be. The cotter pin's supposed to go up and through here. You fold the cotter pin over, over these castle nut wings, and it locks it in. Well, this is, this is exactly what I found. You can see there's the nut, the castle nut. There's the cotter key. Uh, it's, it's not doing anything. So this, the only thing it's going to do is it, if this nut backs off, it will back off about three threads, what I, ca I counted, and then it will hit the, cat, the cotter pin. Um, but I can stop the video here, insert. Um, actually, I'll stop the video in a second. So uh, these is what I just showed you on the photo. It's the exact same one. Um, so... That's the issue. Um, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna go the old school way, and you know, might as well just include these in the video because I did buy these. I did buy these on. Um, I bought. All, I got all of this yesterday when I was doing the Chrysler 300 um, with the 5.7 liter V8. I did that yesterday. It was Tuesday. Um, the 21st. Um, these 
all came in yesterday. So while I was working on a customer's vehicle, um, the parts I needed for our personal vehicles came in. And I actually am not going to open this one. I actually did a video previously on this one. Um, I've been carrying one of these with me for about four days and I loved it so much I thought my wife would love one. Um, but I went to Tractor Supply, this is like 20 bucks worth of one inch, one inch inner diameter is got to be, I don't know, two inch, two and a half inch, I think, maybe. So these, yeah, they're two and a half inch outer, one inch inner. These are going to have to be slightly rounded out. These axles are one and one eighth. So I'm gonna have to come in here and zip, cut them out a little bit, just in case, because if you put these on the back side of the nut, put the nut on, it should work. It should work out just fine. Um, it'll space it out. Um, hopefully I don't have to go that route, but I have 24 of them in here. And the reason there's 24 is I, I would only probably need about four. Um, to get the gap. Because two of these together is about seven threads or so. But um, I got them just in case. Just in case this doesn't work out. These parts I did get from Toyota. It was 30 bucks for these right here. 30 bucks. And, and I grabbed four. So there's four castle caps here. The castle caps, they're called cap front wheel adjust. Um, these are part number 435-25-35010. Um, these are all Toyota parts. Except for the flashlight. But these are castle caps from Toyota. And then these are the actual nuts. Now these nuts will thread onto those axles even though those are Napa axles. This is called the nut flange. There's four of them. It's part number 90178-28002. Um, I did rip this bag open. I actually ripped both of them open. So this works. You have your nut. This fits over like that. Put your cotter pin in like that. That's how that works. Um, just to show you guys. Because these nuts are definitely different. Let me put you guys down for a second. There. Let's bring this axle out of the box so I can show you guys. So this nut is a lot beefier, um, and it's got the castle built into it. So I do not, I would not mind using it. Um, this is exactly what is on the vehicle at the moment. So that picture I showed you has these exact same style um, castle nuts. They are definitely a lot beefier. Um, so I'll bring this one back up here and then I will insert photos in a second. So it is definitely the nut side that you would use for the socket is definitely a little bit beefier on this one. Um, but it's a little bit longer. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven threads. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one has ten thread solid threads. This one does not. Um, I counted 11 with these wings, the threads on the wings. So this has one, two, three, four, five. This has five threads before it gets to this wing. Where this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this does have a lot more threads. Um, and yes, I just showed you I took the nut, that nut, castle nut style off. This one does thread on. So as an example, go like that. And then you'd put your castle cap on.
which allows this to go a lot further down on the threads. As you can see, it's way down here instead of way up here. So that's what that does. Uh, if I turn the light on. So now, this nut is one, two, three, three threads from the back. Um, and it's aligned. So you can actually go a little bit more like that. So it's one, two threads right there and it's lined up pretty perfectly. Um, so this is what this does. So if you remember three threads, <coughs> And I grabbed four because I have four CV axles here. I'm doing two Forerunners, a 1997 and a 2000 are the two I'm doing. So if you do it this way, see how many more threads there are if you use this style nut. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight threads on the back. Um, so. Um, it should be better to use the Toyota ones, um, and, and if the Toyota ones don't work, I'm just going to put this one back on, and then I'm going to just space it out of the back, but you can see this, um, and where that cap sits, it's a lot better than the, this one that came with the CV axle. You know, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, eight threads to the, eight threads to the actual back of the nut, where the other one was three. So the other one was one, two, three, so. One, two, three. Yeah, the other one was sitting right here. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let me back right there. So one, two, yep, there you go. That's better. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six threads with this nut where this one was located. So this does, even though it, it doesn't look um, like it'd be bigger, um, it actually is. So probably not gonna need spacers for this design and, and um, these are usually not hard to get off. Um, so if I put it, this nut lined it up with this rounded section of this nut, you can see that it is, it's about a half an inch. A half inch, maybe three quarter. Uh, I'd say about half an inch longer. So that's why these were picked up. And I figured it'd be useful for you guys the information. I will stop the video here um, and uh, insert the photo so you guys can get a better view. Um, if not, you guys can always see the photos on the on the Instagram page. We'll be right back in a second. So we're back. Um, this, I do um, have the light. Let me go grab it. This light does have a magnet on the back. Um, here's the charging cable. So I have another one of these. It's called the Torchy. This one is the same. It's the exact same light. Um, I'm just gonna, I, sh I just wanted to show it to you guys. I did buy another one. Um, I liked it that much. I bought another one. Um, this one actually gets to 50 lumens where my Milwaukee pen light that I use for inspections and stuff like that, it gets, it's minimum is 100 lumens. Um, so this comes in handy for a lot of things. This cable lights up at this end. So you see this like clear little bushing end? This bushing is what light, lights up. So 
This will be red when it's plugged in. It is magnetic. It is magnetic. This will be red while it's charging, and it will turn blue when it's done charging. Um, I did test this. You cannot use this on regular power banks um, because the power bank, after a while, if the voltage is on, is a, is below its threshold, it will not. Um, it will charge the light for about 15 minutes, and then the USB power bank will shut that off. So I've been charging uh, this light with. Um, with my Milwaukee top off. Um, just got another one for my wife. Now I will have two, uh, two of these chargers, one over where we always sit in my office, and then the other one will be over by the toolbox. That way my wife can just, just pop it on to either my charger or her charger. Uh, doesn't really matter. Um, I say I have two chargers because I'm the one that usually charges flashlights and make sure everything's charged. Um, but it's a very, very nice light. Um, reminds me a lot, uh, like the, um, a lot like the, the O lights and the through nights. This button does light up. Um, and it is a pretty bright light. Um, you can even test it in the box. See? To turn it on in the box. High, medium, low, off. So it's showing red because it's not very charged. Where this one shows blue. There you go, you can see it's blue. It's fully charged. Um, so this is high. If oops. High, medium, low. That's 50 lumens off and if I push it again and go back to high to show you the difference you hold this button down to turn turbo on turbo push it again it goes back to high medium low off and seizure warning if you double tap this button while it's off or on it will start strobing so it's it's a nice light um, I've been carrying it with me quite a bit. I do like it a lot. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys picked up another one. This one's for my wife. I figured this is a, a perfect light to go in her purse or um, you know on the outside of her purse or whatever. Um, and if she needs it she she can at least use it. Um, you know low will get you I think it was said four or five hours. Uh, 50 lumens. Um, I don't remember what the other lumen ratings are. If I can remember to put the card up here for you guys, I'll put the card where I actually took it out the box and showed all the features and read, read the specs and everything. But uh, just a quick video. Uh, more than likely, I would prefer to use these guys because they're thicker or this castle nut style where the castle is a part of the nut. Um, but um, I bought every part, you know, every seal, um, dust boots, dust shields, everything I needed to replenish the entire front end on two vehicles. And I never even thought about uh, getting castle nuts and castle, or, you know, the axle CV nuts and then castle caps. Never even thought about doing it. But um, I got them now. This was 30 bucks right here. So this, just the Toyota parts was $30. And I ripped the bag to the point that they're just falling out. And then this was 29 bucks. Um, I originally thought when, when I picked it up, this was sitting in the 50, 59, 99 spot. And I thought for 59.99, it was a good, a good deal. Um, and then seeing that it only came up as 29, I'm like, oh, I'm still gonna take it. I like it. So um, it's a good light, um, easy to charge. Um, I've even charged this off of a plug in a car. It works just fine. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. I picked up some. Uh, these are classified as one inch by two and a half inch washers. Um, the shelf at Tractor Supply just says um, one inch washer. So you would expect the outer diameter was one inch. No, it's, it's one inch inner. 
Um, and these guys are a little bit bigger. So if I grab a caliper real quick just to show you guys. So, it's at zero millimeters. So it's, it's a 27 millimeters. One inch, 1.06 inches. This guy. It's 1.02 inches. 1.06. You think this would uh, go over the axle shaft, but the axle shaft is 1.07. So if I just. Oh, crap. Turn this light on. Hold on. on now 1.07 right there so it's just slightly a blonde one oh whoa bigger than so it said 1.07 as I showed you guys yeah, 1.0745. So, as you can see, it's just slightly too small. So, just zip real quick uh, and get it cleaned up. And those will be ready and prepped if they're needed. Uh, that's all I got for you guys, though, today. I do appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video. I'm going to put this one back on the axle, um, CV axle. And uh, put it back in the box until I'm ready to do the install because um, I have customers and stuff. You know, personal things to do as well. Um, and I can't. Uh, the only time I had to do it was Monday. And today is Wednesday, a couple days later. Um, I also need to buy tires for Rose, the 2000 Limited 4x4. Um, but I'm not going to buy the tires until the CV axles and everything are done. Um, I just don't want to hear that shop or the alignment shop. I don't want to hear them. Oh, you need to replace this and you replace that and blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't need to hear them say it if I already replaced it. Um, because the axle boots, the CV axle boots are ripped and that's why I need to do that. But just a few parts I picked up. Again, the nut. Um, and they're readily available. You know, like I said, four and four was thirty dollars. It was thirty-one dollars after tax, so it wasn't really that that bad. Um, Nine zero one seven eight two eight zero zero two is the actual nuts. Um, I did show you guys that they do go a lot further down on the threads. Um, I hope this information is helpful. If you're having this issue with your CV axles, maybe you have. You bought some Napa at CV axles or AutoZone CV axles or O'Reilly's, whatever, and you're having the same issue. You can just go get the Toyota nut and Toyota castle caps, and that will gain you the five to seven threads that you you need um, to get the cotter pin to actually be inside these slots. Um, this uh, the cap front wheel adjustment. Their castle caps are 43525-35010. Um, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope the information was helpful. Um, you can, you know, if you if you just don't, if you want to use what the, you know, the brand new CV axles came with, you can always do this method. Um, it should be okay. I wouldn't say it's the best because Toyota doesn't recommend using washers on the back of the axle nut, um, but because it's this is going to change the clamping load on the bearing because the um, the wheel bearings on the third gen Forerunners are actually 
um, preloaded by the the CV axle so just keep that in mind this could possibly change slightly the uh, clamping load on the bearing um, but that's all I got for you guys you have an awesome awesome rest of your day thank you guys so much for watching hopefully I will see you guys on the next video please like comment subscribe smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates go check out my Amazon affiliate links my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace!